Hello everyone. In this example, I'll just be running over the networking for the ZDegrid Virtual Data Center. This will cover a few things such as firewall configuration, NAT configuration, as well as a couple of, a couple of other options that are available. So once you've logged into the MyCloud portal with ZDegrid, head across to the administration tab and go to networks. And here you'll see the networks that are available to your virtual data centers. So this will either be a net external or a net internal product. And you might possibly have both in here, just depending on what you've ordered. We'll go over the net external product first because that is the default um, provisioning option with the virtual data center. So the net external product is a vShield Edge device in VMware land. So that's basically a gateway device for your virtual data center. So all of your traffic, both inbound and outbound, will be brokered via this device. And this is where your configuration is done for your firewall. So you can configure a bunch of options in here. So if you just right click on this one and you go to configure services, It'll bring up a window and you'll see here that DHCP is the first tab. So and that is disabled by default, but you can turn that on if you wish. We'll hop across to the firewall tab. This is where all your inbound and outbound rules are configured. And you can see here that there is an outbound rule configured by default. So all of your VMs inside your virtual data center have outbound traffic allowed out to the internet. And there is a de deny all rule here as the default action. So unless otherwise specified, everything will be denied. So everything inbound is denied by default. Your NAT external IP tab, this is just the IPs that are available to your virtual data center that you can use for NAT. And you would configure that here in the NAT mapping tab. And as you can see, there's nothing here yet, but we'll configure something there in a second. There's a site to site VPN option as well. So here you can configure an IPsec tunnel to another end device. Uh, not all devices are compatible with the vShield Edge for a site-to-site -site VPN, so you need to check with your vendor if that is possible. But um, the configuration here is quite basic. You basically just set here a pure IP address, a gateway, a mask, and then a shared secret as well. And also you set your encryption. And then the last tab is the static routing tab. So first of all, we'll do a NAT mapping right click there and just go to add and here you can see you've got a port forwarding option or an IP translation option so the IP translation will basically forward all ports from an external IP you specify to an internal IP but in this case we'll do a port forward so we'll do a specific port so here you just select your external IP from the drop down we'll do port 80 so that's pretty common we'll do an internal IP here 192.168.60.100 on port 80 so we can ok that so as you can see, traffic from this external IP address will be passed through this internal IP address on port 80. We'll also have to allow that on the firewall as well. So if I pop across to the firewall tab, we'll just right click there and add. Name, we'll just call that one HTTP. Source IP, we'll do a star, so coming from anywhere. Source port, also star as well, so it can be any port. And destination IP, we'll do 192.168.60.100. And the destination port as 80. We want that as TCP and also allowed, and we'll enable that one. So you click OK there. You can see there it's added our rule in at the top. So if you go OK, you'll see that that updates the network here. And once that's done, uh, your rule will be active and you'll be able to use HTTP uh, on that external IP address. So the other product that we have in the virtual data center is the net internal product. So this is a VLAN that you can connect to another firewall or um, edge device. So this isn't a vShield Edge, so this one actually give you internet access by default. You need to connect this up either to a Viata, which uh, ZDegrid offers, which um, I've gone through in other tutorials, and uh, or you can um, deploy your own firewall device. So if you have something that you're comfortable with, either a hardware or software appliance, basically that can sit in front of vCloud and you can connect this net internal VLAN to it. So all of your VMs will sit on this VLAN and then that'll be connected to the inside of your gateway device. So it just gives you a bit more flexibility if you don't want to use the vShield Edge product. There is other options there as well. All right, thanks for listening to this tutorial and I will continue with some more.